Good day everyone. Hope you've been keeping well. It's Dr. Lawania here again with you. Last time we looked at the importance of sleep. Hope you've been trying to get the right amount of sleep your body and mind needs. Today, we will focus on something that is simultaneously everywhere and nowhere, but it affects everyone. It's difficult to avoid, especially in our busy lives. Any guesses? Yes, managing our stress levels. First, we need to know that not all stress is bad for us. Some of you may be shaking your head or laughing right now, but think about it for a minute. I'm sure you've all had experiences where the stress you were under helped you to complete a project before the deadline, or even helped you to study, or even perform better in a presentation. Am I right? Stress is invisible, intangible, and nearly immeasurable. Some of us dismiss it as part and parcel of living. This is precisely why negative stress is that much more dangerous. Continuous stress gradually wears the body down, causing or intensifying common physical illnesses. In fact, it plays a significant role in all human diseases. That's not the worst of it though. Stress is not only a contributing factor, but it also worsens chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes and depression. Let's see how this happens. Chronic stress stimulates the nervous system which induces systemic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is the main cause of cardiovascular diseases. Do you ever indulge in your favourite foods or binge on junk foods when you're feeling stress? So I'm sure you can see how chronic stress affects type 2 diabetes. Highly stressful events such as death of a loved one is linked to depression and depressive disorders for about 25% of us. Increased stress also means longer depressive episodes and relapses. Now, at this time we are still dealing with COVID-19, we need to know that stress affects our immune system negatively in other ways too. When we are stressed, our bodies produce cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisols are great in short spurts. It actually boosts immunity by limiting inflammation. However, over time, too much cortisol in our blood reverses this order. What does that mean? Sadly, increased inflammation. Stress also reduces our lymphocytes, the white blood cells that help fight off infection. So the lower our lymphocyte levels, the more we are at risk against catching common infections, including common cold. Life is an amazing gift. Do not let negative stress take the better of us. Stay tuned to my upcoming videos. I'm off to play with my sons now. Bye.